Heart to Heart: The Glamorous and Adventurous Detective Series that aired from 1979 to 1984 remains a cherished classic, known for its captivating plots and charisma leads. Over the years, the series and ensemble cast has faced the inevitable passage of time, and sadly, several actors who contributed to its success have passed away. This tribute commemorates 28 actors from Heart to Heart who have left us. Celebrating their unforgettable roles and the indelible mark they made on this iconic show and the world of TV. Lionel Stander in the series he played Max. In 1979, when he was in the series, he was 71 and sadly passed away on November 30th, 1994, at 86. Don't you think that we could take a short holiday from our diet in honor of the holiday? In a few days, that feeling will pass. Believe. Tim Rossovich in the series to play Jack Burke. In 1982, when he was in the series, he was 36, and sadly he passed away on December 6, 2018, at 72. We have keys to your doors and vice versa. Good neighbor policy. Is Maria in? She is, but she's a little under the... Bert Remsen in the series to play Jimmy Delaney. In 1979, when he was in the series, he was 54, and sadly passed away on April 22, 1999, at 74. I'd lost 30 bucks, so it couldn't have been that. I let myself in. John Whaley in the series to play Billingsley. In 1981, when he was in the series, he was 47, and sadly he passed away on January 9, 2021, at 86. In the Eberly House, the Marquis Diamond, I am talking about a $1 million heist in one night, and you settle for bus fare. So I'll lay low till Christmas night. Ray Millen in the series he plays Stephen Harrison Edwards. In 1982, when he was in the series, he was 75, and sadly passed away on March 10, 1986, at 79. I dug this out of the attic the other day. It's got pictures of you in it that Jonathan has never seen yet. I don't know if he's going to see them now. <laughs> now, why are you taking it? Morris Marsak in the series he played Andre. In 1981, when he was in the series, he was 66 and sadly passed away on May 6, 2007, at 92. But that's part of his charm. And not a corporate decision to be made in any direction for Miles. <laughs> exactly. <gasps> oh, it's good to see you, Andrew. John Fiedler in the series to play Arnold. In 1982, when he was in the series, he was 57, and sadly passed away on June 25, 2005, at 80 years old. Yes. Yeah, put him on. It's Mr. W. They're transferring his call from the office. Mr. W. Arthur Adams in the series to play Walter. In 1982, when he was in the series, he was 67 and sadly passed away on May 3rd, 1992, at 76. Oh, Miss Jennifer. Oh, How Walter. Are you? It's great to good. see you. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hart. Oh. How are you? Walter, good to see you. Michael Aldrich in the series to play Lieutenant Harry Moss. In 1979, when he was in the series, he was 38, and sadly passed away on December 19, 1997, at 56. Now that's bad. You shouldn't drink on the job, Harry. I haven't been on the job since this whole thing started. That's a trouble. I better talk to the kid. King Curtis in the series to play Alton Kendra. In 1981, when he was in the series, he was 58, and sadly passed away on October 13, 2002, at 79. Immediately after you left that wedding. Poison? By whom? I, Taylor, you didn't think what I had... Win Owen in the series to play Lieutenant Gray. In 1981, when he was in the series, he was 49, and sadly passed away on February 15, 2018, at 85. Cold, is it? Near zero. What did you do then? Well, I got this rope off my backpack, and I tied one end of that sucker to my snowmobile, and then I... Peter McLean in the series to play Commissioner Milton Atbury. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 44, and sadly passed away on May 28, 2003, at 67. There never has been. I want to have witness. You think the DA can produce him? It is my guess that there, there never was a witness. Richard Bishow in the series to play Lieutenant Gillis. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 51, and sadly passed away on October 14, 1999, at 70. It's like... Promise! 
Yeah, I've never been in a place like this before. <laughs> it's awful nice of you to ask me. What's the least we can do for you? Shirley Smith in the series she played Marina Belson. In 1980, when she was in the series, she was 28, and sadly she passed away on August 8, 2023, at 70. Terribly sorry. I I wondered if I might talk to you a moment, uh, privately. Fred Stuthman in the series played Mr. Milton. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 61, and sadly passed away on July 7, 1982, at 63. Deceased. No, we're just friends. Oh, not one of Mr. Hashimoto's relatives has arrived. The service is always more poignant when black. Edith Artwater in the series she played Dr. Jane Barrett. In 1983, when she was in the series, she was 72, and sadly she passed away on March 14, 1986, at 74. Why I'm so glad to see him. <laughs> if all my patients were like you, I'd soon be out of business. He does look good, doesn't he, Jane? Mala PK agrees with him. Now what's all this fuss about a virus? William Bogart in the series he played Fox. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 44, and sadly he passed away on January 12, 2020, at 83. If you remember a man named Herbert Kober? The investment broker? I believe you testified against him in front of a Senate subcommittee. Henry Darrow in the series he played Inspector Korea. In 1979, when he was in the series, he was 46 and sadly passed away on March 14, 2021, at 87. This, um, way of life. That's not good enough for me. What do you suggest I look for? Perhaps, uh, ballistic identification from a poison dog? Roger Till in the series he played Claude Luder. In 1979, when he was in the series, he was 70, and sadly passed away on June 28, 2002, at 93. Both don't want to count over again. Oh, thank you very much, Charles. How's your family? Well? Oh, fine. Thank you very much, Mr. Hart. Oh, by the way, I got reserved for you the... Gregory Sierra in the series to play Eduardo. In 1981, when he was in the series, he was 44, and sadly passed away on January 4th, 2021, at 83. Please sit there. The senora will be with you momentarily. You see, it's about our car. Ah, I am sorry. We cannot provide parking. James Luisi in the series he played Damien Troy. In 1981, when he was in the series, he was 53, and sadly passed away on June 7, 2002, at 73. Circumstances, yes. The ingenious Mr. Strick ink the formula on the skin of that mongrel. Lou Brown in the series he played James. In 1983, when he was in the series, he was 58 and sadly passed away on July 27, 2014, at 89. We got four down at the mail facility on account of the bomb threat. The other two seem to be having some problems lately. Problems? What sort of problems? Health problems. Matter of fact, we hardly ever have both of them. Peter Mark Richmond in the series to play Arthur Horton. In 1981, when he was in the series, he was 54 and sadly passed away on January 14, 2021, at 93. That's a good idea. Maybe now the police will see through Bailey's good old boy routine. <laughs> Dick O'Neill in the series to play Lieutenant Warren. In 1982, when he was in the series, he was 54 and sadly passed away on November 7, 1998, at 70. Acting poison. Laced? Mm hmm. Enough to wipe out your entire guest list. Fortunately, nobody touched that cake after they saw what happened to the groom. Well, every. Ron Moody in the series to play Charles Thompson. In 1981, when he was in the series, he was 57 and sadly passed away on June 11, 2015 at 91. However, I'd have to warn you that Jonathan Hart is not so easily eliminated and if he were to be, his absence would create an even greater problem. You've got until 5 o'clock. Ethel Rauda Leopold in the series to play Auction Guest. In 1979, when she was in the series, she was 65 and sadly she passed away on January 26, 1998, at 83. ...of $100,000. 100000 Thank you. It looks like we'll have a very spirited afternoon. $100,000 is the bid looking for one twenty-five. dollars Jesse White in the series to play, Ernie. In 1982, when he was in the series, he was 65, and sadly he passed away on January 9, 1997, at 80 years old. attention. No more phone calls, all right? Uh, Ernie. Do you think you can handle it? Handle it? Are you kidding? <laughs> of course I can handle it. 
Michael Evans in the series played George Benvenuto. In 1981, when he was in the series, he was 32, and sadly passed away on December 14, 2006, at 57. What do you think when 28 actors from the series Heart to Heart sadly passed away, and who do you miss the most among them? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you.